Police locked off the intersection of 10th Avenue East and 3rd Street while about 30 members of the class of 83 celebrated. The future Florence Nightingales also went through the school's annual rite of passage into the nursing profession. from here as far um, as your career as far as my career <laughs> um a few people have gotten jobs in superior a few people are going to wait out uh, a few people are going south and everybody else nobody really knows it. nursing is a great profession i think we'll all find jobs we just it's going to be hard to stay in the duluth area to find okay. a job okay uh, i think it'll turn around soon there's always waitressing, <laughs> there's always waitressing we get from <laughs> from the peanut gallery okay uh, where would you where would you like to where would you like to begin your career at would you like to be getting here in Duluth? Or you, no, no, you? I'd like to go other places. No. I sent out um, 30 job applications and I still don't have a job. So. ...into that intersection, witnesses said the woman came pouring out of a side door at St. Luke's Hospital. Liz Carney was sent out to check the disturbance and filed this report. The Humes were hung outside the dormitory with great care in hopes that a nursing diploma might someday be theirs. They worked and they slaved with oh so much drive, and finally, after three years, graduation day has arrived. They went running through the streets, expressing their relief. Getting through it all sometimes seemed beyond all belief. It's great. It's gone by really fast. It really has. And everybody's been so excited lately that and it's just really a good time. And now that it's over, a job's all that's left to seek. But this tradition of ripping their clothes off... <laughs> ...had onlookers expecting a peek. Brought at lunch, we've been waiting since 4 this morning. <laughs> so, uh, we're getting pretty anxious here. What are you hoping to see today? Oh, you never know. <laughs> Can't even get the boss the way he's sticking around. <laughs> Hugging and singing, they danced in the square looking forward to one day comforting those who'll need care. With photographer Blake Rowe Mills, Liz Carney, Scene 3 News.